There is a place. Single person. 
me God deny. I don't know what you are dealing with tonight. I don't know the mess you are in tonight. Mercy has never failed before. Yeah. If you will only cry out for mercy, I see God meeting you at the very point of your need. As you come to the throne of grace tonight, yeah. Yeah. expect mercy to be obtained and you will find grace in times of need. Yes, the Bible says in Titus chapter 3 verse 5, not according to the works of righteousness which we have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us. Do you know that word saved here? It's not just not, it's not just talking about God going to hell, but it's talking about hell. He's talking about preservation. He's talking about deliverance. By his mercy, he healed us. By his mercy, he preserved us. By his mercy, he raised us. I don't know what you need from God. The mercy of God opens the door for the grace to come into your life. Receive mercy, obtain mercy, and find grace. Under the mercy seat, there is rest for you. Yeah. Under the mercy seat, there is joy for you. Under the mercy seat, Jesus covers you. Under the mercy seat, you find favor. Say, under the mercy. Anybody want to come to the mercy seat tonight? Anybody need mercy? Under the mercy, there is joy. Under the mercy, there is joy. Under the mercy, Jesus waits for you. Under the mercy, Jesus waits for you. struggle as of this moment I stand on this altar of mercy and I declare tonight marks the end of that struggle every strange cause you have carried until now by the mercy of God I declare those causes are terminated every limitation in your life every challenge in your life by the mercy of God I declare tonight marks the end of God but let me tell you something as powerful as mercy is it must be received by faith are you listening to me are you ready to receive it by faith tonight I declare on this altar you will testify concerning So you walk away from this altar yeah. knowing mercy has fixed you. Yeah. life 
I am free. 